This video contains some experiments which I've did with Python 3. The addition of Python 3 in Houdini 18.5 gave us access to a lot of libraries which were not available with Python 2.7. And what I've done here is set up a basic motion capture system to get facial motion capture from images. This uses probably the most straightforward and simple method of doing this, and we're relying on some very old libraries. This is of course all experimental because I cannot use this commercially. There are always major copyright issues with these kinds of databases, not because of the database itself, but because of the images of the people used in the database. To use this database commercially, I would need to have the rights to all the images in the database and to use the likeness of all the people in those images. We have two ways of setting the data here. We can use an image or we can use a video. I could also set this to use a webcam, but this is reasonably slow at the moment and I need to do some major optimization in order to get that to work. Essentially, I get my image, I click on capture, and we'll generate facial landmarks based off the image. We can now use these markers to track motion on the face. In the long term, I would actually want to have a custom set of markers which will match my rig more closely. This is giving us a set of points based off an image. I'll clear this, and instead what we want to do is get a set of points based off a video. So I'll start my video to capture the points. This video will be sped up as I'm not currently using any acceleration for this. So this is the slowest this algorithm can possibly be. This should, however, be more than useful enough for testing and for proof of concept. Not all the images are being processed correctly. In this case, the first few images are not being detected properly. This is because I'm using a very straightforward facial detective algorithm. There are more stable algorithms, which are newer, but they will take a lot more time to implement than what I've set up here. This could of course be sped up by not showing the image and not printing out the frame numbers. At the moment, however, I want the visual feedback. This is of course also not the best setup for capture. The ideal setup would be to use a camera rig where the camera is at a fixed position to the face, which does allow for far better facial tracking than using a static camera. So we've now finished. We have an error message saying our queue has been overrun. However, that should not be a problem for what we've been tracking. So we now have a set of points which are used to track the face. These can all be converted to joints and exported within KineFX as a rig. And we can use this to retarget animation onto our rig. So here we have the animated capture. I'll extend this closer to the full length, and I'll make sure that we have real-time playback on. I will note here that the real-time playback has not been set to match the speed of the video, but I now have a set of points which track the facial animation for my character. 